Medic 29, I had you in row. Over at COD. Numerous victims, gunshot victims. Go ahead and stage for PD. Today we have a mass casualty incident, uh, also known as an MCI. It's going to be an active shooter, and we're going to be exposing our EMT students and Central DuPage Hospital paramedic students to this type of an event that they may run into during their careers. So in the scenario today, there was a, uh, a shooter that came on the scene of a summer festival. Um, he ended up wounding around 20 victims. Uh, the scene was declared safe by the uh, police, and the paramedics came on the scene. At that point, the paramedics were able to go through the victims, try to see who needed the most care right away. We have the EMT students uh, from the summer session here at the college, about 75 students, along with the Central DuPage paramedic uh, class, the College of DuPage nursing department, the College of DuPage police department, and other outside agencies such as DUCOM and Superior Ambulance. Uh, simulation training is very well known in EMS as a learning method and it allows students to demonstrate their ability to perform assessments and interventions in a safe manner. Uh, student feedback has been phenomenal with this type of training because what they realize is what they're taught in the classroom doesn't always go by the book. And when they get thrown in this type of situation, it's anything goes and they have to be able to think quickly and on their feet. They appreciate uh, the chaos. They appreciate being out of, uh, out of the classroom. Uh, it uh, gives them a taste of what they're going to be in for when they assume their jobs. I do think it's useful because then it gives you a little more knowledge of what to expect. You're never going to guess what's going to happen, but it allows you to kind of think under the pressure given the circumstances. I think it's extremely useful training because we have a lot of these situations nowadays where you know you don't know what you're going to walk into, you don't know how many patients you're going to have, and it's good to get an understanding of how that goes down, you know, how those situations play out. So I think it's I think it was really good, yeah. COD is the uh, educational leg of the Central DuPage Hospital paramedic program. One could not exist without the other. The College of DuPage and Central DuPage Hospital have a relationship uh, where their paramedic students are also considered College of DuPage students. They earn 32 credits towards our EMS degree and at the end of the training program they will also be licensed paramedics in the state of Illinois. The Homeland Security street scene uh, is a fabulous place. It's a fabulous location. The reality of the street and the storefronts, uh, it, it, it just paints the whole picture. And then the fact that we are able to physically move the patients from there over to the Sim Hospital and give report at the bedside to nursing staff uh, really complements the entire scenario. If we didn't have this type of facility, I don't know that we could uh, expose our students to this type of training. It allows us to set up really any type of event here in the street scene and the imagination is our limit and it just really makes our students um, better prepared for the field where they're not going to be that novice the first time they go into a situation like that because they've been exposed to it in a safe manner here.